direct investment is a very very large part of the Irish economy overall you know a couple of key figures would be the multinationals account for over 75 percent of all exports out of Ireland you know they export about 110 billion euro and also you know they're very large from an employment perspective directly and indirectly they're about 240,000 people but particularly in the technology sector we've seen great growth in that and one of the key things is that we now have a very strong established base of many, many of the leading technology companies with the top eight US ones here, for instance. But also what we're noticing in Ireland is the second tier ones in recent years have been coming in great numbers and the emerging companies. What that has done is the names, when you think of the real brands, anybody from an Intel to Microsoft to a Google to a Facebook, we now have the world leaders and that's spinning off because you can see a number of startup Irish companies. Well, I think we can fairly say we have a really, really strong technology cluster in Ireland. I think it's very, very strong because first of all, if you lead it, the big brand names around the world, you know, Google, eBay, a PayPal or a Yahoo, Zynga, Facebook, they're all here and people know that because if you look at the way the communication is through that media in any case, you know, so I think people are quite aware that they have very, very strong presence uh, in Ireland that that's helped establish Ireland's brand in that space and the more of these companies particularly the new ones coming in now what you're finding is because of technology they're actually going global much quicker than say traditional businesses would I think one of the key uh, issues is that when they look I know at the recent announcement by Zynga uh, about their European operations centre in Ireland they made one very strong comment they're a partner globally with Facebook and when they saw that Facebook were in Ireland it gave Ireland an immediate advantage so going back to the earlier comment uh, the building of a true cluster we're doing that and I think it's getting international recognition I think first of all you have to look at the overall business friendly environment if you look at an international standing Ireland is very very business friendly uh, and it has been business friendly uh, particularly say to the international companies that uh, are, are in Ireland but of course they do look at a lot of things when they're considering going to a location usually companies might have a list of 10 or 12 items that they need to be satisfied on but some of the top ones would quite clearly be the talent pool that's very very important the track record and I think again if you can see you know the Googles and the Facebooks how they've built up that's a good track record of course our tax rate our corporate tax rate is very very important the maximum 12 and a half percent and the technology capability in Ireland so it's sort of a combination of those items so also um, a lot of people in this business tend to move around the globe and particularly from a European perspective You'll find that uh, as the big brand names are here, if you're living in Italy or Finland and you want to work with a Google or a, a, a Zynga, well, you'll go to work where do they have substantial operations. And Ireland is a very, very friendly place, particularly you'll find it's very, very attractive in the 22 to 38 year old age bracket. So it's a combination of those things that makes Ireland attractive. Well, I think other countries, many, many other countries want to get into this space in a big way. So I think uh, the competition is going to increase all the time. There's no doubt about that. Um, but despite that increasing competition, we're still maintaining that leadership position in getting new, uh, a number of the newer companies. For instance, the recent decision by Gilt to come to Ireland is a very, very good recognition of our continuing competitiveness and success in that area. But going back to some of the points that I made earlier, what makes companies come to Ireland, you always have to be enhancing whatever Ireland's value proposition is. And 
that applies to all of the business sectors we're in. How do you make sure that you're doing enough to keep a competitive edge? So it might be new initiatives in terms of education, but it might be more flexible arrangements in targeting people around the globe to come to work in Ireland, having you know a much more visa-friendly environment, and we've improved a lot in that area. So I think constant enhancement of every part of the value chain is going to be important. I think education and skills are very, very much key areas because it's the talent pool at the end of the day that drives it. And of course, there's lots to be done and needs to be done within the wide education system in Ireland. But bearing in mind, you're not going to switch that on overnight. I think there is a strong recognition, particularly this year, that there are opportunities out there if we have the right skills mix. But while we're making sure that we're increasing the number of people coming out with the right skills, mix. Uh, we have to make sure that we're getting plenty of people in. So I think in the economy the important thing is you have a mix of locally produced people and people brought in. That's creating overall economic impact in Ireland. And when you bring people in, they're actually renting apartments, they're spending in the economy, there's a great economic impact from it. So I think it's that combination of skills over the coming years. That means, of course, that Ireland has to be attractive uh, to people who want to come and live here. It's like uh, drinking Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola, uh, you know, people have brand affinity and brand recognition. And from that point of view, with having all of the brands here, the, 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 the Googles, the Ebays, etc. But it's not just in that defined new wave or, or uh, you know, the, the new era of the, you know, the, the Zingas, etc. Um, a lot of the established players, if you look at what's happening in the whole cloud space in Ireland. You're looking, we're taking the established companies like IBM, like Dell, like HP, EMC, Microsoft, VMware. They're all doing things in Ireland. Some of them obviously related to the, uh, a, a lot related to uh, the internet space. And then more specialized Salesforce.com or Marketo or Mycroft who have come into Ireland recently. And then you're looking at the opportunities in internet security and if you look at say McAfee's recent announcement so I think it's much bigger than just the new wave of brand names and that's why I think we can justifiably say that we are the capital because it's not just the suite of newer it's the totality of the technology industry. Oh.